Hello there, it's Alana Tucky, and in these lecture notes I'm going to cover scientific notation. Now scientific notation, often called that way because it's used a lot in science, but it's used in other places too. It's a way to express extremely large and extremely small numbers in a faster way than writing them out with all the zeros that would entail, like standard decimal notation. That's what we call it when you just regularly write the number out. Now scientific notation is in the form a times 10 to the k, where a is between 1 and 10. It can be as low as 1. It can't quite get up to 10. It could go 9.999, but it can't go 10. Basically, you need a single digit into the left of the decimal point, and then the decimal point, and then everything else afterwards. And this is a typo here. It should say k is an integer, not n. All right, so calculators use a block letter e to stand for times 10 to the power. So it's above your 7 button. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. But suffice to say that old school notation before calculators were invented is a little x 10 to the power, like these three right here. So that's the old school notation. And the new school notation with calculators is like a block capital letter E. Don't use lowercase e, because lowercase e is Euler's number, like 2.7 and some change. It's, it's its own special thing. So you want block letter E. It looks like a double E on your notepad. It's above your comma button, sorry, above your comma button. So it would be double E, right? And we'll get to more of that later. All right, so what else do we need to know? When you have positive values of k, k being the power after the 10, when you have positive values of k, that corresponds to very large numbers. And then when you have negative values of k, that corresponds to very small numbers. Okay? So let's see what I mean by that. So let's look at this one. 4.8 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, so the, you can see the decimal point is there between the 4 and the 8. And I need to move it 7 spots to the right because I need to make a very large number. So hold on. There you go. I have it written by hand here. So you can see the decimal points here between the 4 and the 8. And I'm going to move it 7 swoops to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And the decimal point becomes here at the end of that last 0. And then you put zeros in everywhere else. So there was an 8 on that first swoop. And then 0, 0, 0, 0. You're basically marking your places, right, with each of those swoops, which makes 48 million. Okay. So let me go back to mine and type that up. Hold on one sec. There it is. Okay. So again, the decimal was here between the 4 and the 8, and it moves one spot, two, three, four, five, six, seven spots over to the right. You put your decimal point there, and then you write your number. Okay. So now we're going to do it again. But this time, instead of 4.8 times 10 to the 7th, we're going to do 4.8 times 10 to the negative 7. So let's see here. Let me pull this up. Okay. So we had 4.8, right, times 10 to the negative 7. So we're going to take this decimal point and we're going to move it 7 spots to the left. So I'm going to move it one spot to the left over here and then another one. So I moved it 1, 2, 3 spots over, 4. Let's see. So you start your decimal point here and you move one spot, two spots, three spots, four, five, six, seven. The decimal point will go here now, and I'll have a zero in front. And this one is just will go away. All right, so it'll be that. And I have it written by hand. Let me see if I can find it. Right here, right? Oops, wrong one. <laughs> That's okay. Now you see it. So I move it seven spots over to the left, right? Okay, and then what about this one, which is, I think, the one we just saw? So there's a negative in front there, but you're still going to move it to the right because you're still trying to make a very large number. So this would be the same one that we did originally. It'd be just negative, so it'd be negative 48 million. So you're going to move it, you can make a very, very large number, but it'll turn it negative because of that negative in front of the 4.8. All right, well, how does that change if you have these lovely ones down here? that have the e, and the answer is they don't really. So, and this one's negative 2.019, negative 2.019. e negative 3, I think it was. Let me double check that. Yep, e negative 3. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, it means you're going to move the decimal spot 3 to the left. 
So where it was, was between the two and the zero. So it was here between these two, and then you move it one spot, two spot, three spots. So you kind of swoop, one swoop, two swoop, three swoop, put the decimal point there. You need a negative in the front, and there you go. All right, what about this one? Let's see, 1.539. Let's see it. E negative 6. All right, so 1.539 E negative 6. Okay, so the decimal spot's between the 1 and the 5, so I'm going to move it 6 spots over to the left. Okay, so it was here between the 1 and the 5. You move 1 swoop, right? 1 swoop, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then put your decimal point right there. Cool. That one's negative. Oop, no, it's positive. So I should get rid of that negative because it was a positive 1.5319. 1.539. All right. This 3, 4, 3, 6 times or e10. That's what 2 to the 35 power is. What a huge number. Okay, so what would that look like? So 3.436 e10, I think it was. Let me double check. Yep, okay. So we want to move the decimal spot 10 over to the right. So it's here between the 3 and the 4. So move 1, 2, 3, right? So 3, 4, 3, 6. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can put your commas in here. So that's 34 billion, which is a really large number. There we go. Okay, so that's how to take scientific notation and write it out in standard decimal. All right. All right, now what about taking these numbers and writing them in scientific notation? So you can see the decimal spot is here between these two zeros, and you need it to be there between the 2 and the 5, because you have to have a single digit, then the decimal point, then everything else. So I need the first digit that shows up is that 2, so that's the one I need. So that's 2.54. Let me put this this way. All right, 2.54 e, block letter e, or times 10 to the whatever makes you happier, e, and then let's see, how many spots do I need to move it? So let me write it out. It was 0 0.000254, okay? So I need to move the decimal spot one spot, two spot, three spots. So that's e negative 3 because you're making a small number here, right? A lot of students get confused and they think, oh, if I go left or right, then it has to be negative. Don't, don't think of it like that. Think this is really, really, really tiny. This is the diameter of human hair. So that's going to be a negative, very small number. Right? The very big numbers, which is the next one, 2.17 trillion in taxes, that's going to be a very large number. All right, 2.17 trillion, that's really big. So let's write it out, first of all, in standard. 2170000, oh, 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 oh. let's see if this works. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions. Nope, not enough. There we go. There's your ones, tens, and hundreds. There's your thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, billions, ten billions, hundred billions, trillion. There we go. So what is that? That's 2.17 e. Now how many decimal spots over are we? The decimal spot's now here after the end of this last zero we have. It's really 0, 0.0, right? So it's there, and you need to move it 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12 spots over. So 12. And there we go. Or times 10 to the 12 if you like. So you could say, um, or... Okay, how would that be? 2.17, and then you could say times 10 to the, which would be, uh, let's see, there's an X in here somewhere. Like that. Okay? And while I'm on the subject, this other one could be times 10 to the negative 3. Just be careful when you do this. If you do the E, then you want the negative 3 in the same line as the E. And if you do times 10 to the, then you want it to be a little power after the E. E actually stands for exponentiate, exponent. So it means that 12 is in the exponent of 10. All right, we're done with that one. Oopsie. Now let's look at some calculator instructions. 
So to type a number in scientific notation, you type your number and then E is above your comma. So you'd hit second comma and then write it out. The thing about it is that the calculator will only do about nine decimal places. And then after that, it's going to give you scientific notation not no matter what. Like here I did 6.4 E10 and it gave me back 6.4 E10. That's for the positive direction. And the negative direction, it does even less. It'll only do about three decimal places. And anything more than that, it's going to do scientific notation. And I have a whole tutorial about all this um, if you click on that link. That's an underscore right there. Okay? So let's look at these following. So the calculator, if you look here, it's 9.77E6. See that right there? So that Y value, let me type that up. There we go. 9.77E6 would be 9770000. Okay, so let's see if that's enough spots. 1, 2, so I moved it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's perfect. So that's 9,770,000. There we go. See, the calculator won't say that to you because the calculator writes it in scientific notation instead. All right, what about this problem? So it's 1.539e negative 6. Let me type that up. There we go. Okay, now I need to move that decimal pot spot 6 to the left. So, okay, so let's see if I counted it right. So one spot, two spot, three spot, four spot, five spot, six spots. There it is. So it was between the one and the five, and now it's six moves over to the left. Swoop, swoop, swoop six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there it goes. Okay. Now, down here, I'm trying to show you a little, not quite a mistake, but the calculator does something, and you have to kind of be smarter than your calculator here. So look at these two numbers. Especially that, well, look at the x. The x value is negative 2, right? And then the y value, just think about this for a second. So it's negative 2.000001, right, or whatever it was, which is really negative 2, right? The calculator basically exhausts itself and says, okay, I don't feel like going any further. But you have to know that's really negative 2. Now look at the other one. It's negative 1, 2, 3, 4. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 2, 2, 5. Which, I mean, look at it. What is that really? That's zero, right? The calculator, it runs a little algorithm, it runs a little process, and then if it gets close enough, it basically gives up and says, okay, that's close enough, right? But you, as a student, have to be able to look at that and go, no, 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 no. I know what the calculator is saying to me, but I know that it's really this, okay? Oh, here, let me write it out. One sec. There we go. Okay, so that's what the calculator claims it is right here. But this is what it really is, right? Your calculator is very smart, but it's not very wise, right? It doesn't know that it shouldn't have quit there. It thinks, oh, I got close enough. It's good enough. But your algebra teacher will not think that this is good enough. Your algebra pre-calc teacher will be, no, 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 no. You have to get better than that. You have to know that that really, really, really small number on the right is really zero. And this really, really number that's close to two is really two, or negative two, I should say. All right, we are done with scientific notation. See you back here for more videos.